51. Sex Education A serious mistake made by many people is to assume that Christians are against sex education. Another very bad mistake is to assume that only the public school teachers can teach it. The basic question to ask about any educational programme, whether it deals with sex, history or science, is simply this. What kind of standard does the teaching represent? Every course without exception represents a philosophy or perspective, and sex education is certainly no exception. A Christian must promote sex education, which begins with the Ten Commandments and the law, Thou shalt not commit adultery, which affirms the biblical standard that marriage alone is the God-ordained area for sexual activity and which upholds biblical sexual morality. The biological facts about sex can be learned in a short time, in an hour or so if a person is a slow learner, but the basic inner attitude takes years of faith and living. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Ephesians 5.25 Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Ephesians 5.22 The love, mutual service and ability to work together, which makes a couple truly one and heirs together of the grace of life. 1 Peter 3.7 does not come from any course taught during a semester, but out of a life of faith and growth. The objection to the sex education taught in this school is that it's anti-Christian. It's hostile to biblical faith and law and is openly so. It claims to be interested only in the biology of sex, but it is in fact a presentation of humanistic religious faith and morality. Dr. Mary Calderoni executive directors of SEICUS, Sex Information and Education Council of the United States, has stated this new religion and new morality honestly and plainly. We need new values to establish when and how we should have sexual experience. You are moving beyond your parents, but you can't just move economically or educationally. You must move sexually as well. You must learn how to use sex. This is it. First, to separate yourselves from your parents. Second, to establish a male or female rule. Third, to determine value systems. Nobody from up on high determines this. You determine it. This is a religious teaching and it is anti-Christian. Moreover, since this religious principle began to be taught in 1966, it has been successful. Many youths have separated themselves from their parents and are living in terms of the new morality taught by these cultists. The fact remains that sex education is impossible without moral and religious education. Sykes and Dr. Calderoni recognise this. It's time we did. Christian education, which is radically different, is needed here as elsewhere.